Hi, I'm Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com. In this video, you will learn how to create beautiful textured backgrounds in PowerPoint easily on your own. Yes, you can create professional quality textured backgrounds completely on your own quite easily. The beautiful textured backgrounds you will learn to create today look like this. Can you see here? This is a beautiful pattern. Another one is this. Another one is this. And these are just simple ideas. You can expand on the idea and come up with your own variations of textured backgrounds because the basic concept is very simple for you to understand and follow. Once you understand how to create a simple textured background like this, you'll be able to extend the idea to create patterns like this with your own logo. You can create a washed out version and have it as your slide background and create beautiful slides like this, especially when you need to present some confidential information and you want the background to have your company logo, you can use this idea. If you observe closely, what you see in the background is the same picture that you see here, which has a pattern of our presentation process logo repeated endlessly like this and we have given a washed out treatment here. There is no possibility of anyone fiddling around with your slides like this because you have a clear authenticity of your own company logo at the background. So let us learn the idea of how to create your own textured backgrounds in PowerPoint very, very easily. Here I am on a new presentation and I have a new blank slide. The first thing I'm going to do is to go to Auto Shapes menu. I'm going to pick up a shape. Now the shape you pick up can be anything. Let us go to stars and banners and let us pick up this one called as star four points. And I'm going to hold the shift button down as I draw a star like this. You can have any color of your choice. For example, I can go to shape fill and choose maybe something like this red color if required and then go to shape outline and say no outline. Now I can right click on this and cut it then right click, go to format background where you get this pane here. I'm going to choose the option here called picture or texture fill. And then I'm going to use the option here called insert picture from clipboard. And this is how the picture gets stuck on the slide. Now the next thing we need to do is to tile the picture as texture. So I'm going to click on the option here called tile picture as texture and instantly you have a beautiful pattern created. Now, if you feel that the stars are too big and they can be distracting, what you do is you go to the option here called scale X and scale Y. You can always use a much lower percentage for scale X and scale Y. I'm going to use a simple 10% for scale X and I'm going to choose a 10% for scale Y and hit enter. And what I get is a beautiful textured background that looks like this. A textured background of this size is quite heavy. So all you need to do is to hit print screen option. Print screen is one of the options that is available right on your keyboard. Look for the option and use the print screen option. What it does is it takes a screenshot of this full page. Then you can go to a new slide and then right click and paste it as a picture. Now what you got here is a picture that can be used the way you want. Now, I used the very same idea to create beautiful textures. Now, what you see here is a square with a light gray outline and a shape that I picked up from one of the flowchart options here. And the option is this one called as punched tape. And I used this and I gave it yellow color and removed the outline. And then I repeated this as a texture. And what you get is this one. Can you see here? It is the exact same shape that is repeated over and over with 10% scale X and 10% scale Y like the way that I showed you. The same way what you see here is the shape that has been replicated multiple times to create a beautiful texture like this. Now the way that I created the shape here is very simple again. I went to auto shapes menu, picked up this simple equation shape which is not equal and I took this and I used this yellow handle here to straighten this out. And so what I got is a beautiful shape, which then was uh, removed outline. Then we went to shape fill, used this blue color. And for the background, all I did was to take a rectangle tool and then I drew a rectangle around the shape 
went to shape outline no outline shape fill and it chose a light blue color like this and then i sent it back i selected both the shapes pressed ctrl x then right click paste as picture and then i repeated this as a tiled texture now let us repeat the pattern of our logo here so that it can serve as a background here is a snapshot of our logo i am going to press ctrl x to cut it then right click go to format background which brings this pane go to picture or texture fill insert picture from clipboard and then go to tile picture as texture and this is the first level of tiling that happens then we go to scale x and scale y and let us change this to say 50% and now we have a beautiful pattern with our logo once again let us go to the slideshow mode take a print screen go to a new slide paste it as a picture now if you want you can always have a washout effect so go to format go to color and give it a washout effect like this this is our logo pattern what you can do is you can right click and cut it go to format background and paste it as picture or texture and insert picture from clipboard so that we have this as part of the background so it doesn't really move when i add elements on top of it now if i add my slide title and some content it will look as neat and stunning as this needless to say if you feel that the picture at the background is a bit intrusive you can always add a bit of transparency to the background like this and you can see that the picture at the background is quite dulled out still anybody would know that this is your logo which is repeated as a pattern so that is the way to create your own beautiful textured backgrounds in powerpoint now if you like that idea then you will really like our creative powerpoint training courses that are available at presentationprocess.com if you go to this page for which i will leave a link at the description box below the video you will be able to see a whole bunch of very creative powerpoint training programs available here and if you want an all access pass for all our training programs as a small monthly membership fee then you can go in for our ram gopal's powerpoint mastery program for a small monthly membership you would be able to access all the courses that are there on this page so please click on the link in the description box below the video check out this page and see how this program can change the way you work with powerpoint and finally if you want to receive exclusive powerpoint tips and tricks that i share only with my email subscribers please join our newsletter called success by powerpoint you'll be the first to hear about any new product introduction you will be the first one to get free access to our giveaways and you will get access to our free email courses which we keep developing from time to time and more importantly we provide product offers and discounts only to our email subscribers so please click on the link here join our newsletter and take your powerpoint game to the next level i'll see you in the next video